friends welcome back to the canada info hub channel my name is wolo i live in winnipeg manitoba i love to talk about life in canada and immigrating to canada so it's a beautiful new week and i'll first of all i'll ask you how are you doing i hope you're doing great and if you're doing great just subscribe to this channel and destroy the like button <laughs> please don't scatter your phone don't spoil your phone before you say it is me that sent you to spoil the phone anyway it's a beautiful new week and i like to talk about something um not really related to immigration but something that i know that will beneficial to people um planning to immigrate to canada and it's actually a reaction to a video i saw this week where somebody sent in a letter to one youtuber um saying that um the the family has like nine plots of land they have a school um and the husband is like about 47 years old the wife is like 39 years old and the husband wants them to immigrate to canada and basically a lot of people were saying don't come to canada blah 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 stay in africa you are well established in africa and for me i made a comment on that video and um i said everybody has his reason for wanting to leave um where they are living and immigrate to a new place it's not like the western agenda there is no agenda here you know even if canada has an immigration pathway for people to become citizens it's your choice you make the choice of wanting to leave your comfort zone to come start life in canada for some people you might have to start life all over again especially for those who are working in regulated professions like medical doctors nurses um, most of the healthcare professions require licensing so they have to go through the nine yards of getting their license before they can start practicing in canada while some other occupations do not actually require licensing so for people who re whose occupation requires licensing they have to you know stress themselves to get the licensing to work but for the others they can just start working immediately so um immigrating is not like starting life all over again for some people but for some people it is like starting life all over again and your reason for immigrating is best known to you like for me personally i decided to leave nigeria for several reasons because i was actually tired of the mediocrity that happened there i was tired of a lot of things i was tired of the corruption i was tired of the low quality of living i was generally tired of the environment and falling sick all the time so i told myself this is this is not good for me if i if i need a place where i know that um i can put in the effort and i'll get result in terms of the efforts i put in without necessarily paying anybody or bribing anybody or whatever whatever hard work i put in i know i will get results out of it and for other reasons like the environment itself like the african environment i was just generally tired of it i was tired of insecurity number one the major thing that made me even leave was insecurity you know the insecurity is just so much that you are afraid of yourself you can't live your life the way you want to live you don't know who will be the next person that will come and kidnap you or kidnap your siblings or kidnap any member of your family you know those were the major reasons that made me decide to leave africa so for anybody who wants to leave africa i would use the word nigeria let me not use africa because some parts of africa are safe and okay um for those who want to leave nigeria to immigrate to canada and if you know you're well established in nigeria you have to do your due diligence first and ask yourself why do you want to actually immigrate to canada do you want to immigrate for the sake of your children or do you want to immigrate because you feel you're tired of the environment you're no longer secured do you want to immigrate because of the medical benefits that canada has um do you want to immigrate for you know several reasons because you feel that your career will do better if you immigrate to canada so if you have all these reasons and you know that these are the reasons why you want to immigrate then nobody should stop you from immigrating you know there are lots of people who are well established in nigeria and they still want to immigrate because of the possibility of becoming dual citizens and the benefits of having a second passport for them to access so many things and so many parts of the world especially during retirement you know you have to look at your lifestyle 
number one is if you have a major illness like a critical illness will you be able will you what you have be able to you know fund that illness would you need to travel outside of the country out when i mean outside the country i'm talking about outside of nigeria to be able to treat yourself without spending so much money would you need that if you know you would need that sometime in the future then there is no harm in immigrating especially when you know that the country you live in cannot provide this healthcare services for you you know there are lots of people you look at the leaders themselves the leaders themselves they don't even stay in the in the country healthcare facilities to treat themselves whenever they fall ill if they fall ill the next thing they are flying the next taking the nearest flight to london or to saudi arabia or whatever to go and take to go and have good health care for themselves and they are not even bothered about you know revamping the healthcare system to ensure that people can benefit from a good healthcare system in in nigeria look at look at the security situation if you say you're a rich man in nigeria you need to hire multiple security um personnel to actually guard you to guard where you live you know you're not if you're driving you have to be on a convoy where security personnel one is in front of you one is behind you two people are in your car if you're a rich person you cannot even drive freely in your home country again you're not safe in your home country because you're afraid of kidnappers for you to say you want to drive from lagos state to um or your state or to ibadan or from lagos to benin you need security to guide you if you want to drive your posh car you'll be afraid whether somebody is looking at you you know that kind of fear i mean why should somebody subject him or herself to such fear for a long period of time for all the days of your life because you are living in a country that cannot provide these simple necessities for you every day you wake up in the morning you'll be praying oh uh please i want to arrive safely if you come to Canada, those kind of things, you don't pray for them. You know, you don't pray for them. So, it is your choice. You can decide to stay back in your home country and be your own security man. Be, <laughs> be your own uh, medical doctor. Or if you have the funds, you can, you know, actually sponsor yourself to go and receive treatment outside of, outside of the country. If you have the money or you know you can decide to be be your own whatever be your own government provide your own water for yourself provide your own electricity how much do you even pay for electricity bill and you don't even see the service you pay almost hundred thousand naira or two hundred thousand naira for electricity per month and you're not even seeing the light in your house and you're paying for it and then you say you want to remain in the country i mean look at the quality of life and then you're polluting the noise pollution alone is killing your ear eardrums you know and in fact i just like some people say oh uh, money is everything people who immigrate to canada do not immigrate because of the money they immigrate because of the quality of life so you make the decision yourself if canada is good for you yes i'll be here to welcome you guys but if you feel you are established in your home country you're okay you don't need any canada then it's fine enjoy yourself there and be your own security guard and be your own government and be your own whatever and provide all these things for yourself so i'm not dissing anybody <laughs> anyway uh, i just decided to share this video in reaction to that particular video i will mention the name of the video so thank you so much for watching and next time i might be talking about immigration see you bye